One of the factors to ensure optimal device function is verifying that your device is using the latest firmware available. To view the firmware version your device is using, open your SpyPoint mobile app, go to the Cameras tab, and click on the Status button of the device you are updating. The second line in device information is the firmware version your device is currently running. Check the version in your mobile app against the latest version shown on the product page of the Support section. Go to SpyPoint.com and click on the Support section. You can either select your device model from the drop-down menu in the All About My Device section or look up your device in the search bar at the top of the support page. Be sure the model on the product page of the website matches the model in your camera status on the app. The firmware will not update if you download the files of the wrong model. Then go to the Firmware Update portion of the product page. Compare the five digits following the V at the beginning of the firmware version in your app. If these five digits are the same in the app and on the website, your device is running the latest firmware. If not, there's a more recent firmware available. To install the latest firmware on your device, make sure to use a high quality, freshly formatted Class 10 SD card between two gigabytes and 32 gigabytes. If you are unsure what freshly formatted means or if you want to verify the quality, watch the How to Choose and Format Your SpyPoint Device SD card provided in the video description. This is a critical factor which ensures proper device function. Insert the SD card into your computer. Look for an SD card slot on your computer or use an SD card reader adapter. Once inserted, click on Download File. Then open the downloaded file, copy the files that appear, and paste them onto the SD card. The latest firmware is now installed on the SD card. Make sure to eject the SD card before removing it from your computer, then insert it into the device, while the device is powered off. Before continuing, insert a fresh pair of batteries into the device. It's important for the device to be fully charged during a firmware update. Check to see if your device has an OK button. If it does, hold the OK button down until the firmware update initiates. If it doesn't, simply power on the device. You will see the device begin the update procedure before continuing through to the standard boot up process of the device. There are three types of firmware update behaviors possible. Pay attention to the one that applies to your device. It's very important to not turn off your device as it's updating. The first behavior is for cameras with a screen. This one is straightforward as the screen will show you that the camera is doing a firmware UI and MCU update. Once the process is done, your camera should continue to its usual boot up screens. The second update behavior is for Link Micro Series cameras and the Cell Link. You will notice that the status light will flash for up to a few minutes. Once the boot up process is done, all lights will turn off. The third and last update behavior is for Link Evo and Link W cameras. You will see the signal turn on and the LED flash for a few moments before becoming steady. Then the lights in the front will turn off, but the camera is still updating. If you turn the camera around, you will notice the busy light behind the camera right below the battery door flashing quickly. You will know the camera is done with the update process once it ends this cycle and reboots itself.
Note that anytime you power your device off and then back on, the transfer frequency will automatically be set to each detection for the first 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, the transfer frequency will return to your preferred setting. This detail will not show in the device status on the app. Verify that the device is functioning properly by opening your SpyPoint mobile app. Go to the Cameras tab and click on the Status button of your device you just updated. Verify that the last communication date and time occurred after you turned the device back on. At this time, your device is received, the updated firmware, and the version displayed in the app should have also updated. Once verified, you can modify the transfer frequency and delay settings or keep the settings you already had. Note that the higher the transfer frequency, the more likely it will have a negative effect on your battery life. To learn more about the cellular setup, you can view the Understanding the Cellular Setup settings in your SpyPoint app video. If you have multiple devices, you can repeat this process for each of them so they all function optimally. For more helpful and informative videos like this, visit spypoint.com support.